Okay, so one of the things we'll find that we do, um, particularly before we get into GUIs, is we have to find a way to give users choices. So a lot of times we'll, uh, we'll want to create a menu. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do that using while true, and we're going to pass some stuff back and forth. So we know that uh, typically anytime we have additional code, we're probably going to need to control it with main, but not really do anything in main. So we know main is going to control the flow of the program. Um, and then we're going to want a menu. And uh, basically what our menu is going to do is it's going to display a menu on the screen and return an integer. All right, I'll show you why we're going to return an integer. So first let's go ahead and set up our uh, menu. And uh, I'm going to show you another cool trick. Again, if you look back at the formatting videos, you'll see this. Uh, this is not really a, a widely accepted way to do this. But it works, uh, again, when we're just learning and we want to keep things simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do print, and then we're going to do this fun little thing where we just put three apostrophes. What that does is that says everything between the three apostrophes gets printed explicitly as shown. So you can see everything turned orange there for me. So now I'm just going to do one, uh, smile, two, uh, laugh, three, quack like a duck. And uh, four, quit. That looks like a good menu. And then I'll close all of that up. So I'll cover that up. So you can see I used these three apostrophes. Everything inside of it got treated as a text block. Um, again, not necessarily the most standard way to do things, um, but it works really well. And for something simple, it's easy. And you can see that I said we're going to return an integer. Well, obviously, if we're going to give them a menu, we need to give them some way to make a choice, right? So in this case, I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to say user choice equals int input select a number. Not a perfect world. I'd probably have some error handling and some other cool stuff, but for now, this is just fine. Um, and then once they enter a number, I want to return that number, right? Return, return that number. So you can see I'm displaying a menu on the screen and I probably should add ask. And then returns one integer. So. How would I call that? Well, I would come up here and I'd call that. Pretty simple, right? So I just say menu. And of course, if I'm going to call it, it needs to catch it. So I'm going to call it menu choice. Why didn't I call it user choice? Well, because that's what I used back in the menu, right? The menu, that's my user choice. But uh, for the rest of the program, I'm probably more likely to remember that that came from the menu. So I'll call it a menu choice. Um, I could test my code right now. It's not going to do a lot. Um, but I can at least see that, uh, in fact, I do have this really pretty menu and I can select a number and uh, nothing will happen yet. So I need it to do stuff, right? So let's go ahead and tell it to do some stuff. Let's grab uh, a comment here, make sure we explain what we've done here, which is we're just calling a menu and accepting one value in return. So we don't forget that we did that. Um, and then let's... Uh, Let's get it to do something. Let's make a choice. So I've got this value. Um, I need to know if it's uh, smile, laugh, quack, or quit, right? Because then I have to do something with that. I need to maybe call the smile module or the laugh module or the quack like a duck module. In this case, I just want to call the quit. So I'm going to say if uh, menu choice. Make sure we do that right. If menu choice is equal to four, uh, then I'm gonna print a friendly message, say quitting. And then of course, how do I quit my loop? All right, so now that I've got all my stuff in there, obviously I just need to add a quick while true in here, all right? So let's do that. Uh, while tray, while true, and then move everything else in one block. So I'll highlight it, hit my tab. All right, so now I've got this very explicit uh, if menu choice um, equals four, break, right? And I probably wanted to do something else otherwise. Uh, if anything else,
and I'll just do an else print. Till quit. All right, and I need to just go ahead and explain what my menu choice is doing there. So I'll drop some comments in. Hopefully by now you're in really good habit of commenting things. Even if you're not doing this for my class, um, comments are a great way to be able to go back and look at what you learned um, and apply that forward. Uh, so if you're in another class somewhere along the way, you can go, oh, that's what that did. All right, so you can see it created that. If I choose one, well, if I two, yeah, three, okay. And just so you can see it, do a four, quitting. So there we go, a great menu. We can see that we've got a menu that passes it back to main, main that knows what to do with it. If I had a bunch of stuff, I'd just do a bunch of if else, if else, if else is here and call each module I needed to do.